Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we will learn how to make a program in which the user enters a number and then we calculate the sum of the natural numbers of na uh, natural numbers to that number. To that number, like if the user enters four. Okay. So what we will do? If we will do is four plus three plus uh, one plus four, one plus two plus three plus four. Okay, so the first, sum of first four natural numbers. So first I will write text window dot write line enter any number. Wait a second, sorry, sorry. Enter any number. Okay. So the user enters any number. Okay, so I forgot to put the brackets. Enter any number. <laughs> After that, I'll, uh, I forgot to do one thing. Uh, yes. So I'll uh, yes. So num number is equal to text window dot read number. Okay. So for those who don't know what a variable is, a variable is a thing in the computer's memory where data is stored temporarily okay so what i am doing here is that number that the user enters i am storing the number that the user enters in the variable num okay so what is uh, like for example the user enters 12 i am storing that the, the number wrote by the user which is 12 in the variable num okay so then so after that, what I'll do is I'll use a, I'll use a for statement over here. Okay. So, so I have for statement over here. So I will tell what for is. Just wait a second. So what I'm doing here, like for, the for statement allows you to execute a set of statements multiple times. It is like the, it is like the if statement, but it doesn't check for the condition what it checks is that for a is equal to 1 so for example I, I wrote a simple program here text window dot write line 1 plus a ok so let's and then end for so I just, this is not a real program I am just showing how this will work if I wrote 2 uh, so what is happening over here is that uh, what is happening first a is equal to 1 okay so a is equal to 1 then what it will do is it, it will execute the program the line of program code in this which is text in dot time 1 plus a so if a is equal to 1 so then 1 plus a so 2 okay after that what are you what then what will the, it will do is that it will it will increment one, uh, the variable a by one so it becomes two okay so because so two m two num okay so if i if i just wrote two okay to make it simpler what will happen is that first it will do a is equal to one then it has executed one time okay after that it will execute the second time in the second time it will execute a uh, by uh, it will increment a by 1 so this a is equal to 1 will become become a is equal to 2 okay so by default it increments by 1 so if you want to increment by like just say 2 so what we will do is step we will just step keyword over here step 2 we will use this after the 2 keyword Okay, step 2 so what will happen here every time the code executes the code in the for statement executes it will increment a by 2 you can also you do negative numbers over here like minus 5 minus 1 okay so we'll not use the step keyword over here okay so a is equal to 1 2 2 so this was just a Example, so let's get on with the coding. So first what will I will do is text window 
dot right line uh, a. So what is happening is that first a is equal to one, and it will write one. Then after the code executes in the for statement, a, then to write as a is equal to two as it incremented by one. So then it write two, then it write three, four, five. Uh, so on until it reaches the number n, the variable n, which contains the number that the user wrote. Okay. After that, what I'll do is uh, I forgot to do one thing over here. I'll create uh, one more variable over here, which is sum. Sum is equal to zero. Okay. So what I'll do is sum is equal to sum plus second sum plus a uh, so this is a bit confusing what i'm doing here so i will tell just i'll tell you so first of all to make similar i'll use two over here okay so what i'm doing over here is that sum is equal to sum plus a so first of all sum is equal to zero i I st uh, stored zero in the variable sum. Okay. And after that, as so first of all, sum is equal to zero. Okay. Then as a is equal to one, sum plus a, which is zero plus one, which is one. Okay. After that, it will go to this. Uh, it will execute this program once more, but a is now a is equal to two. Okay. So what will happen now is that now sum is equal to one because uh, in the first when for in when the program executed the first time the code in the for statement sum became one after so the sum has become one so it will execute once more but now a is equal to two so now it will be one as sum has become one uh, okay and a one plus two okay so like that uh, so uh, what I'm saying is that first sum was equal to zero. Sum was equal to zero. Then sum is equal to sum plus a. So zero plus one, which is one. So after that, now sum is equal to one. So now the code in the first statement executes once more, but now a is equal to two. So as it's equal to two, and sum now is equal to one, right? Because sum plus a which is 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 so sum is now equal to 1 so now once more we will store a value in the variable sum which is sum plus a so in the second time now sum has become 1 so now it will be 1 plus 2 as a has also incremented by 1 okay so i hope that you understood uh, oh, sorry okay sum plus a so sum is equal to sum plus a and then we will just end the for statement after that we will write text window dot write line the sum of the first and we will put a space and a double quotation mark and then we will add the variable n because as the user wrote n for in this like if the user wrote 12 then it will write the sum of the first 12 natural numbers okay that's what we are doing plus n and we'll use the plus operator again plus the sum of the first uh, like uh, n is equal to 12 for example so the sum of the first 12 natural uh, so the sum of the first 12 natural numbers is plus sum Okay, because now sum as sum we, we need to show the sum obviously, right? So the sum of the first and natural numbers is sum. Uh, it should be num. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I forgot. It should be num because uh, I've made the variable over here over here as num. So it will throw an error if I write it as n. Okay. So let's run this program. Uh, right. If I write three, for example. It will do it. 1 plus 2 plus 3, which is 6. It will write the sum of the first three natural numbers 6. Uh, so, as you could see in this, right, if I wrote 3, what is happening over here? 
it is showing uh, 3 then it is showing 1 plus 2 plus 3 right so to fix this what I will do is that uh, after the read number statement I will do text window dot clear so it will clear the text window then it will execute this the program after the text window dot clear okay so if I run this again uh, so for example I wrote write 3 then it will clear the text window then it will write 1, 2 and 3 and the sum of the first 3 natural numbers is 6 so it can go to uh, large numbers as well so if I do 99 as you can see here the sum of the first 99 natural numbers is 4950 so this is a very useful tool tool okay uh, but as you could see it wrote all the numbers from 1 to 99 so if you want to make the program to show the sum instant instantly we could just remove this line of code over here text window to write line a and if we run this like if i do 99 again as you can see i wrote 99 the sum of the first 99 natural numbers instantly okay so uh, i want to tell you one more thing is that if I write very large numbers okay like this number uh, wait sorry sorry so it will so it will write all the numbers from 1 to the big number that I had written okay but it will not be able to take out the sum because the number is extremely large so for, for example if I just remove this code line of code if I write a, a very large number so it will in uh, output nothing because it is a very large number and it co it cannot calculate it okay so thank you for, thank you for watching my video please like share and subscribe and i will meet you in the next video in the next video we will learn what gravity is so till then bye